so it's now Sunday and it's just after two and it's the day of Alfie's party so there is everything we have biscuits buns cookies the cake and the pavlova I've made and there's Alfie ready with his new badge do you like your badge Alfie? yeah the one and number four yeah what else is down your badge? Do it. Four, okay, four. And then, just have like, put the drinks over there after. You alright? Yeah. playing with your fruit. One car, but you can turn it into a race car or a car. You can build it. A well, we open it. A car race. Good morning and a happy Monday. Today is Alfie's birthday. Alfie's four. And they are playing with um, this is what Owen got for Alfie for his birthday. It's a car that you can build. You have like an um, electric screwdriver with it, and you can just build the car with screws and all that for children, it's a obviously. Race car. And Two. you can turn, yeah, you can turn it into a race car or just a normal car. And you can make your own designs yeah. if you want to. Yeah, Alfie is going to get more of his presents after school because we're going to go to school soon, aren't we? And me, and, but before we get the presents, we're going to go to Space Golf. Yeah, Space Golf is a new thing. Um, there's a place that opened uh, near us called Space Adventure Golf or something like that. It's basically like uh, crazy golf or mini golf in, indoors, but it's a space themed one. And it says from four year old. So we decided we're going to try it. I booked it in advance because it apparently gets busy, but I thought it might be less busy on a weekday. So at least we can get to do something together. James took the day off to be able to spend it with Alfie. Um, and yeah, so yesterday he got some really cool balloons. This is one with cars, a green star, and a happy birthday with a four. And he got this present from Therese, which is really cool. I might have shown it already in the previous vlog, but it's um, 
music playing device from children it's called Tony box and you basically get this box it's completely padded so you can throw it on the ground and all and it's fine and then you get this box and you have little characters so it comes with one and you put it on and you play songs play songs it's just starting up there and um, you can get some that are preloaded with songs or you can get some like these which are called creative tonies and you can decide you have like a cloud and you decide what songs you want to play so for example this one has nursery rhymes and then when you take it off it stops and you take another character you put it on and it plays you want the wheels on the bus okay there you go we can just... You like the wheels on the bus? Uh, and also, if you, like, if you just take it off and you don't put a different thing on the corner, you still continue the thing. If you take it off, no? If you take it off and then just put back ah, it continues and it only stops if you like... Yes, yeah. Put another one on. I want the wheels on the bus. This is the wheels on the bus. I am really uh, feeling excited about today. I'm really feeling happy about like last week there were so many little victories with Alfie and it feels amazing because it's funny the way it's it's really hard to deal with um, children with additional needs but <coughs> it's also I feel like but you also take less for granted and you also celebrate every single little victory and when those happen some of them you wouldn't even notice with another child but she, they are huge things and they make you so happy when they happen with children who have more difficulties to do certain things so it's amazing and I feel very very happy about that so yeah I'm gonna go get the mess in a well room sorted so this is what we are dealing with right now so let's see how long it takes <laughs> to get all that sorted and this is much better uh we have a deal with him now that in the evenings he has to tidy up his room now last night because there was a party and it's not what it's just it for we <laughs> kind of skipped it but he has to tidy up his room so that i can hoover whenever i want uh without having tiny toys on the floor so we've moved this table was in alfie's room and we ended up moving it here and i gave him a tray and any toy he's currently playing with like he's playing a war castle at the moment this is where the castle is destroyed because it's been bombed and as you can see there is casualties and uh, i gave him a big tray and he basically has to put everything there so i can still clean easily and it has to fit on there uh that's the deal one thing we need to sort through is these boxes are filled with stuff he got for Christmas or stuff that are going to go in Alfie's room it's a box we need to sort through and put in the right places not everything has a place yet we still need to there's a spare box there that's going to go in here his fairy door was down here but Alfie was messing about with it so we are moving everything up here but I need to get it off there and put it up here uh, and then we'll have a space for another box where we can fit more games in and I need to go through his board games because some of them he's too big for they need to be moved into Alfie's room and all that but that's something I need to sort through I haven't got around I've done Alfie's room now I need to finish his but otherwise all the rest is all tidy so this is much better so I've just gone through all the boys clothes removed everything that doesn't fit anymore I'm actually going to sort it out now because we probably will have time to go to the dump. Um, when I say the dump, it's a recycling centre, so there's also places like a big bank where you can donate clothes and stuff. I'm going to make a bag for one of my friends who has two little boys younger than Alfie for stuff that might fit her, uh, fit them, and then the rest I'm going to donate everything. We might have time to go today, so I'm actually going to bag everything now. So it makes room. My room at the moment has a lot of baskets and stuff I think that need to be sorted through and donated so I'm gonna bring some out today so that will be done and prepare a bag for her so whenever she's next round she can collect it at the same time and then it will make some other children happy what? good morning it's actually the next day and I realized never really filmed anything yesterday so we're going to show you what trucks Alfie got for his birthday 
Twin the hardest to try, 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 the hardest this is the garbage truck, so I got him this one. My One of my grannies got him the flatbed truck. My other granny got him the harvester. Uh, my parents got him the jump truck. James got him the fire engine. And James' parents got him the um, transporter truck. So that's the new the new fleet of Alfie garbage Transport truck, Company. Garbage truck, garbage truck, garbage truck, garbage Watches yeah. Like yeah, he calls it super truck because it looks like the cartoon. Wheels. You, actually, you can put them on the ground if you need. Uh, uh, one, two. Which one do you want out? Oh, mm, Which one? A dump truck? Dump truck. Oh, look what's in the dump truck. Cool. Oh, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, I'll put it on the ground, okay? back from school and I'm gonna do something I didn't have to do the, the courage to do in front of Alfie because I hope I'm hoping he doesn't notice this is the balloons that were all around the house that I now need to get rid of um, I've left I've shortened the strings of his helium balloons and I'm gonna leave them for as long as they last uh, for now and yeah but I'm hoping because I had some like on all the windows and on the doors and all I'm trying to get the house back to normal so I'm gonna do that also, Aiko keeps jumping for them and brushing them, and then she's terrified. So, yeah. This is all clean and dry. I need to fold now, so I've started in there. I'm getting there. I'm, I'm happy with what, I'm, what I've achieved so far today. I'm having a productive day, which is good. Which I can actually maybe have a break this afternoon, which is very nice. So I'm going to fold all this. I have another 20 minutes before the shopping might come, so I'm going to get started so I can clear the table. So it is now 20 past. Eight. James is away to an appointment tonight, so he won't be back until probably another half hour or so. Um, Owen is in bed. Alfie is playing in his room, but he keeps going into Owen's room. I'm listening. I can hear him running away. And I don't know if he's talking to me or to Owen because I can't understand what he's saying. He's playing with some of his tracks. Anyway. Um, I am going to go tomorrow morning, I want to go to the shopping center. I am in a situation at the minute with Alfie in school. Alfie is now staying in school until half one, which is amazing. But the only thing is that at the minute, anyway, until um, he's fully settled, I have to be on call, which means I can't go too far because I need to be able to, I need to, be able to come back within 10 minutes uh, in case they need me, if he has a bad meltdown or if he wouldn't let them change his nappy, for example. I wanted to go down to the school so the agreement was that they accepted to extend the hours but until they feel like it's fine it might be the entire year we'll see but they want me to be on call so the shopping center is like if I leave the shopping center and drive over it's five, five minutes away from here so that's good I mean even if I was on the other end of the car park I, within 10 minutes max I would be at the school so that's good I need to collect, uh, I've ordered a um, spring coat for Alfie because the, the one he has at the minute is just getting very, very tight. Um, and especially when he's wearing his school jumper and his bigger coat, which he could wear temperature-wise at the moment, the zip is broken and he keeps opening. But because he's not going to wear that much longer, I don't want to buy one now because I don't know what size he will be when he needs, needs it again next year. Well, next winter. <coughs> So, because he has the two hoodies now, uh, I've been getting away with putting a hoodie and a spring coat on top, uh, and that was enough. So I want to keep doing that, but it's getting too tight. So uh, I need to uh, to collect it. I've ordered it. It arrived today, but I just didn't get a chance to go and get it. I also need to get quite a few things. So I'm going to briefly explain to you uh, my trip to England. It's basically. Um, it's very hard for me to understand because I only know so much myself. Um, but it's to make it simple and to give you a fair idea, it's like a self-development retreat kind of thing. Uh, and 
uh, I've been given a list of things I need to bring with me uh, also a, li a list of things I'm not allowed to bring with me but um, I need to get some I don't have everything I need on that list so I need to find some biodegradable soap and uh, shampoo um, and I don't know exactly where to find that I found some on Amazon which is quite expensive because it's some like proper survival kit things and all that and it's not something I'm going to use on a daily basis after that. I'm sure I can use it anyway. But uh, yeah, so I'm going to go and try maybe Holland Barrett, I'm thinking. Otherwise I'll get it online, but it's like £7 for a small bottle of shampoo. And then same again for a small bottle of shower gel, which is a lot for something I'm not just going to use for a weekend. So um, I'm going to see if I can find something else first. I also need some plain coloured t-shirts. So for that I'm going to go into next. Uh, I want to try on if I can and if they have the size I need uh, for tops in next depending on the shape I'm either a 20 or a 22 and um, but I don't know why in the shop near us and in many shops around us actually they stock all the normal sizes uh, up to 20 when they go up to 22 and may very often I need a 22 and I can't even try it on because they don't have it and I'm thinking Really, for one size, could you not stock the entire range? No, could you not do that? Apparently not. So very often I have to order online. So what I'll do is that I need to go to the shop anyway. So I'm going to go tomorrow. I would like to try them on first to see if the shape suits me and what size I need. And I could always try the 20 and if it's a bit too tight, go for the 22 then, I guess, if they have it. I'm just going to go for the basic v-neck t-shirt. Uh, I need some plain trousers, plain comfortable trousers. So I have those black, um, they're like yoga pants. Uh, I have those, I have a pair of tra black tracksuit bottoms, but I would like an extra one in case I need to get changed every day. I don't know exactly what we'll be doing and I don't know if I will need a change of clothes for every day. I have a thicker one, uh, which I have, I will wear for the night and have a big fleece uh, thing for the night. Um, but for the day, in May it probably will be too warm so I just don't want to have that one in the day so it's going to be my pyjamas and <laughs> trousers for there um, yes so that so I would like to see if I can find some uh, black yoga pants or tracksuit bottoms or something like that there as well so I think tomorrow my little mission is going to be going to the shopping center after I bring them to school and try and see if I can get more things from that list and collect this parcel for Alfie and yeah just look around and I might even stop and get myself a coffee or something nice now that I can I used to be able to go but I had to really rush to get through the shopping center and back now I actually have a decent amount of time I've done all my laundry uh, I have only one order left to do but I can do it at the weekend um, I have done quite a lot lately and I'm feeling very glad about that so yeah I'm gonna see now I'm gonna do now what I'm gonna do now before I go and see what Alfie's doing is check the cinema times I want to book the tickets for or actually know the times of the movie on um, Saturday but the cinema only updates the stuff on a Tuesday for after the for the new times oh this looks like they have yes they have updated it 10 past 2 it is yes so um, yeah, so then we can arrange with James's mom what time we bring them, and we can plan our day. So <coughs> gonna get them to bed, watch more Game of Thrones when James is back, and I will see you in the morning, um, maybe for a little shopping trip. Who knows? <laughs> we'll see what it feels like in the morning. So I'm home for my little shopping trip. We'll show you what I got. I got in Costa a small vanilla latte with skim milk because I can't really stomach um, fresh semi-skimmed or whole milk. Uh, I went to next collected Alfie's coat. I'm hoping the size is right because I went to size up from the one he has. So this one is a 5 to 6. He had a 45 which is too tight but it doesn't look exactly the same. Well it does and it doesn't. Um, so I'm hoping the sizing is the same. I'm going to leave the labels on and try it on. All the clothes I bought for him this time is 6 to 7. The coat size bigger so it will fit him, but I'm wondering how long for. So, this is it. Comes in loads of different prints. There was a lot of truck ones, and I was dreading him print the the one that's matching all the rainbow trucks uh, of the clothes he has is actually a white background. I'm thinking, oh, 
this in Northern Ireland is not a good idea. So when you pick that, I was glad and he picked it mainly because all the inside is green. <laughs> so uh, that's Alfie's coat. We shall see if it fits when he comes home. Then in next I also got, so I had uh, in my shopping basket, I had these towels for the bathroom downstairs. They are just hand towels and I had two. And when I went to check out for the coat, they were out of stock. Uh, so I thought, well, I'll just leave them out and I'll go to the shop and hope there's one, there's two, because I want to be able to, you know, to have one for when I wash one, I have the other one. Um, and they only had one, so I decided to go for my backup choice, which was these uh, kind of textured things. So I have two new hand towels. We currently have blue hand towels downstairs, which were matching the bathroom we had in our previous house, and I never got around to change them. Didn't want to bother changing them, and so official ha officially have hand towels now for the downstairs bathroom then also in next uh, so this is something i've been looking and i couldn't find um i don't have many thinner jumpers most of my newer jumpers are um wooden ones that i got because i renewed them in the winter but i didn't have thinner ones and then i saw this one and i was so glad so it's um like a raglan sleeve which is a shape that really suits me uh the shape like i have at the moment where the seam is kind of over there doesn't do anything for my body this is a perfect shape for me so it is a thinner jumper it has uh it's like a cream and navy stripe and the seams at the front if you can see they go back in but i really like it it's very soft it's a very light jumper it's perfect for spring so I'm really glad I found that. I didn't expect to get that today, but when I saw it, I just had to get it. And they had a 22 in the shop. They also had a 22 in something else I've been looking for, which was a long sleeve t-shirt. Once again, when I saw stripes and the raglan shirt thing, I had to get it. It's very soft. And the bottom bit is like a rounded shape, um but uh it fits really nice and it's a longer one which i like because of my bum i like something to cover the top of my bum and then the initial reason why i wanted to go to the shopping center apart from picking up the thing is because my neighbor the other day was wearing black yoga pants tracksuit bottom thingies and i asked her where did you get those because i've been looking for some like the ones i was wearing today and i couldn't find them anymore and she said to me don't stores so I went to the stores and I got two just plain black with yoga pants like this uh, and they were eight pounds each which is brilliant so I got two so that's my trousers sorted for my uh, trip which I'm glad about and then another thing I wanted to get I ended up finding my biodegradable shampoos and soaps last night on a camping shop, shop online I ordered a few other things that I need for the trip I'll show you uh, like a headlamp and uh, some microfiber towels can't remember exactly what there was in quite a few things that are on my list but I needed more shampoo and conditioner and I don't use any silicones and I try to avoid a lot of other stuff so I was in the Holland Barrett and they had no for on shampoos and conditioner so I went for um, the Faith in Nature I think that's their own brand because I always see it there unless they just stock it um, so that's the new packaging, that's the old packaging which matches more what I had before, I like the new one better. But I've seen a lot of good reviews about the Dragon Fruit shampoo, it's for all hair types. And so I got the Dragon Fruit shampoo and conditioner and they were three for two, so I got James the grapefruit and orange um, shampoo. And then I also wanted to try this one, uh, I like to have two shampoos and conditioner because if I w use the same one all the time, my hair gets used to it and I always need to have one that I can kind of switch back and forth between uh, so my hair doesn't get used to it and it's still more efficient. And I've been wanting to try the uh, Manuka Honey um, shampoo and conditioner from Dr. Organic. So I got them too and they were buy one but get one half price so that was great. Good morning and happy Thursday. Uh, it is half nine. I've just brought the boys to school. Alfie was very reluctant to do anything this morning. Everything turned into a meltdown. He didn't want to go to school and it was to the point where usually when he doesn't want to go, sometimes we just go and pretend we're leaving and close the door and I lock it and wait a bit further away until I hear him going, wait on me! And maybe I can go out again. Oh, the sun is shining. Ooh. Um, 
and my windows are not that bad i don't think you can see there <gasps> look they're not that bad compared to what they can be like um it's only been a week that's why um so today we said we're going and he went bye bye i was like oh god no so i've received my amazon order so there is a um, headlamp in it this is all stuff for my trip uh well mainly uh this is a headlamp i have a water bottle i went for um one liter one and there was loads of colors and this is the color i picked uh, which is one of my favorite colors, like a teal, mint, mint teal kind of um, things of sunscreen. Uh, I wanted a smaller one because I don't want to bring. I don't. I, I'm bringing everything in a hiking backpack, and I want to limit the weight of it. So uh, I ordered a small uh, thing of sunscreen, SPF 50. This is a strict minimum for my skin. Um, this is something I've been wanting to switch to for ages, and I thought I need a new toothbrush to anyway, and. Um, your toothbrush to bring so i decided to switch now they are uh, all natural bamboo toothbrushes and they are um compostable um boop. and they are basically wooden with uh the hair is uh, colored and then the end of it and there is five different colors they were actually the pack of five was uh, just under like it was under 10 pounds something like 8.99 or something like that it's actually a very good price for a toothbrush so that's that and then <clears throat> this because there's a hole in my house somewhere and they disappear everywhere when i plait my hair i always use those tiny hairbands and i like to match them with my clothes or when i do my mini ponytails uh, like on both sides um keep losing them and i figured they are quite expensive in shops and I ordered a big pack with a variety of colors. Uh, so then, because I want to bring quite a few of them, because I'm I'm probably going to plait my hair. Um, I'm going to touch plait it, I think, for going. Um, and then I bring some spare ones to be able to tie my hair, to not have my hair in the way, and not have to deal to do my hair too much. Um, so then I can yeah do that. So yeah, what I need to do before the end of the month. I haven't booked my suitcase in the hold yet, uh, well my, my bag, which will be a big backpack, um, because on EasyJet you can decide between 15 or 23 kilos, so what I want to do is pack my bag as it will, as it will be, and then weigh it, so then I know which one to book, uh, so I don't end up spending for the one for 23 kilos if I only need 15, so that's why I would like to have everything by, well, really in the next couple of weeks because i'm leaving uh the first it's the first weekend of may so uh yeah really i just want to have everything sorted so that's why i'm gathering everything and also because if i know i have everything it does and you can stop looking for stuff uh it'll be easier there's a phone that's james i don't i'm hoping this is old phone and he has the more recent one james leaves electronics everywhere okay so i've just received my next order uh, I'm going to try one of the t-shirts because the other ones are basically the same and they are just in different colors. I'm going to put that on and then I'll show you what it looks like and we can see hopefully if it fits. And it does, I'm going to show you this way. So it's a very basic cotton v-neck um, t-shirt. I was worried it would be um, not fitting right or the arm would be too tight. But it's fine, it fits everywhere. So I have it in blue like this. I have a green. I have a pink. I have a black. And I went for a color I never get. But I thought, you know what, I'll be adventurous. I got an orange. I always felt like I, because I'm very orange there, it could be too much, but my hair is getting darker and I think that can work. It can work and make it work and then the other thing i have i have two uh, like hoodies zip top hoodies so i have a navy one it's the same one two colors and it's not a super thick hoodie it's more like um like a not summery one like a springtime one but because i'm gonna be camping it might get colder now does it fit around my hips at the bottom as again Oh, my battery is flashing. 
trying to zip this up while I'm looking up. Okay, let's bring you down. And it does work. It does work. So I got it in navy like this. And then I got a um, dark red berry kind of color. So that's all my clothes for my trip. Done. Now I just need a nice outfit. So hopefully the dress fit. But if it doesn't, I decided I would bring my gnome dress. So I'm going to charge my battery. And hopefully my order with my dress comes and I can show you after. I've received the dress. I actually have it on. I haven't seen properly myself. And I'm going to use my viewfinder uh, as a camera. It does fit on, for sure. I can get it on, no problem. Um, it seems to be the right size. I'm just worried about the length being too short. I do like the color on myself. This is higher than I'm used to, but it might work, right? Let's see. So, this is it. Whoop. Do you know what? It's actually not too bad, the length. I mean, I could show a bit more leg, really. And I have been there, so there's no pockets. I need to see if this is meant to go tight at the front or at the back. I think I could really go either way, or even put it in my hair, put a red belt instead. But it fits. I like it. I actually like it. I don't have a full length mirror in my house and I really need one because hold on I'm gonna put you on the fireplace and see if I can get a better view or even on a shelf there is that better I want to see the top bit I like that the sleeves are bigger so they hide this I really like it I think plus I have new tights and I have yellow ones and I have red ones and I think it would look cool with the red ones. I do like it and I'm gonna keep it. Um, because I think it looks nice and I can dress it up or down. So yeah, I'm gonna keep it. I don't know if I will bring it with me or instead of the known dress, but I like it anyway. So, I'm gonna keep it. It is, especially at the back, hold on, too short. Um, it is shorter than I'm used to. But I think it's still fine. It's not too short. Yeah, it's just above the knee at the back, which is it's definitely shorter than I'm used to. But I want to be more adventurous. I still think it looks nice. It does hide a bit of my knees. I don't like my knees. So yeah, there it is. Woohoo! I like it. I'm keeping it. And it's also it's nice for spring because it's quite late. Um, so I'm keeping it and I'm actually going to wear it tonight at the theatre. I'm wondering if I open this button, is it too much? Do you know if I want it to go a bit more, showing a bit more skin? Well, I can't, but I think it might be, yeah, a bit much. But, um, yeah, I guess I can hide more here and show more leg. My legs are the part of my body I hate the most, but I got colored tights to embrace this, so I'm gonna go with it. I think I'm gonna go with it. It is a little on the wider side for there, but I could always do a little bit of alteration for that. Um, and the size down will definitely be too small around here. So yes, I'm glad, I'm happy with that. I have a new dress, woohoo. It's been a really nice afternoon. I have cut the grass now. I haven't done the borders and it's very, it doesn't look very nice because it's very rough because it was so long. But it's much neater and I've done the front toe. Um, next time I'm going to leave it uh, because there's a lot of grass clippings everywhere. They are going to dry. Then I can rake them and then I can cut the grass again and do the borders then. And I'm currently setting up. We have received um, some new characters for Alfie's Tony box. We've got the unicorn, the builder and the pirate. Which are now... Uh, I got with his, uh, the money from his birthday. So the unicorn has is loading now. It has the bedtime music on it. Uh, this one has songs, like kids' songs in English. This one has like, there are kids' songs, but songs that Alfie loves that are like, there's like the greatest showman and various things. Um, this has a story at the moment that was given with the thing. 
uh, and also it has the Android sisters <laughs> I'm trying just to fill it in uh, I'm going to download more audiobooks and this one is going to be the story one and this one has songs children's songs in French on it so those ones are all creative Tonys so you can basically load an hour and a half content of your choice on each of them I've just decided to put them by theme so it's easier but uh, yeah I'm hoping the bedtime one we can kind of include it in some sort of routine uh, he loves that box it's been bringing him around everywhere with him uh, so yeah I'm gonna finish to set up this one and then I'm gonna get changed I'm gonna wear my new dress tonight and I think I'm gonna wear my yellow tights and yellow cardigan with it um, and then yeah it's what time is it five past five just made a quick dinner for Owen quick dinner for myself actually doesn't want to eat Alfie has a rash and he was outside with the grass and all and I'm convinced it's hay fever related it's getting flares up a lot when it's outside and then it calms down again uh, his face is just I'm gonna show you quicker than describing it um let me see your face more much can you see his cheeks your face is all red boo boo and it's going on his arms too as well but well you know it's going down definitely it's just yeah just had uh, five kids there this afternoon they were just playing with some of the neighbors we were playing outside and then i needed to do some stuff inside i can't leave alfie outside without supervision he was upset so i asked someone to come in they were all playing and i kind of bribed them in by saying you can either play in the garden or come in and play mario kart which we just got and I asked can the friends come too so they had a mario kart game just there for the last hour or so um no i just need to get ready i can't really go like this at least my hair is washed and now i'm going to change the dressing of my leg and get changed uh and then we'll get going when james is back and hopefully have a lovely time i'm sure we will so we're ready to go with the win i'm gonna let james film to show you the dress full size because i can't i couldn't earlier can you hold this i just want to show the dress can you know the camera a bit there we go that me too do you want oh, you want to show your do you want to show your top turn around a bit go like this like this like this perfect yes. there we go Fortunately, we just discovered Alfie might be allergic to grass pollen. Oh, that's the thing. So, there we go. And I'm going to wear a yellow cardigan. I don't have a red, red lipstick like this. But this is pretty out there for me. So this will have to do. Um, yeah, It's quite warm right now, but I'm worried about being cold after. So I have my yellow cardigan. And yeah, we're going to go. We'll leave my camera here. I don't want to bring it. We'll let you know after how it went. Good morning and happy Friday. Just tried to film this and I was getting a Mario Kart error message. So I hope it's not dying on me. Luckily, I've just transferred everything on my computer previous to this. So even if it doesn't work, it's okay. I can cope. Um, so today's Friday. It's the weekend. Tonight, I'm really excited. Tomorrow, the boys are going to their grandparents for the day and are sleeping over and we're getting them back on Monday morning. Uh, James and I, all we know is that we're going to go to the cinema and we want to go for a meal. The rest, we are not going to plan. We have all the different times of the cinema and we're going to do something we cannot do with the boys because the boys need such a set routine and if it's a routine that's out of the ordinary, they need a lot of, especially Alfie, um, explanation in advance of what's going to happen and all that. Uh, spontaneity in our uh, schedule usually is virtually non-existent and I am a creature of habits myself I do need a routine myself but I also like those days where you just don't decide and you go with the flow and this doesn't happen with us because we can't so that's what we're going to do we know what we would like to do we don't know what else we want to do we'll just go with the flow for the day and it would be lovely uh, we're going to see Captain Marvel which I'm really looking forward to seeing and uh, yeah for today I this morning I've been um, sorting out uh, admin stuff like uh, we got the uh, educational psychology report yesterday for Alfie that's the one that's the report from that big meeting that was very scary and the report is perfect I, I have nothing 
wrong to say about it. It has everything I was hoping would be in it. Uh, she has what it is the way she told us at the meeting she would. So everything has been done to really back us up there. So fingers crossed we are going to manage to get a, a place for him in our first choice school. Uh, but we, we won't know for that until for, for another while. The, the panel meeting to finalize this statement is next week on Thursday. Now it's probably going to be weeks before we actually get it and then after that it still needs to be amended to add that report and the school choices for next year to change its placement. Uh, but at least we don't we, we've done everything we could. Uh, now that's the last bit I had to do for now. I need to send off. Uh, so I've emailed a copy of them. That's what I've been doing um, lately. The guy there is a guy that works there that I'm de is dealing with this case, but it's not the higher person. It's like the one of the officers who does the messaging and all that. Um, I've been keeping in touch on the phone with him to make sure everything was progressing but he also gave me his email address and what we've been doing the last few communications is that anytime I need to transfer a document a lot of stuff got lost in the way to the office and never got to him when they should have so um, I don't know where the fault is and we figured that what we would do is that I also email him a scanned copy of any document that post out to him so he knows for sure he's getting it. Um, he needs to have the paper with like the original um, the original signature so I still need to post things out to him as well but at least that's a way we found where um, if uh, let's say he didn't receive it he can chase it up and he can quickly let me know because he knows to expect it. Uh, I, what I do usually is that whenever I email him I have the letter ready to be posted either that day or the next day and I tell him when I post it and all that so we can keep it in touch that way. He has been amazing to help me uh, despite all the mess that other people were creating so we're getting there it's just a waiting game after that and uh, crossing our fingers the school has a place for him. So I've done that I've done I've been sorting through all the footage that was on the camera uh, to, I have two vlogs to edit I want to finish them today. During the day I also want to finish all my orders. I basically want to have a weekend free so then I can enjoy quality time with James tomorrow and quality time as a family uh, on Sunday. It's Mother's Day and I just want to just not have to worry about oh I need to finish an order or I need to do this or that. So I'm going to try and finish today. Laundry, it's kind of tidy up the house a bit. Just do the char boring stuff there to get them out of the way and hopefully uh, then we can have a lovely weekend spending time together um so yeah i'm probably not going to vlog much more for today um it's been probably quite a few long vlogs that i haven't edited yet but just looking at the amount of footage uh it's probably yeah quite a, a long vlog um one good news is that my leg is getting so much better and i'm, I'm feeling so happy about this um i've been terrified of getting out of the habit of exercising too much and not getting back to it and giving up and i don't want to do that because that's what i've done my entire life and i'm terrified of my my own behavior basically with that so this is why i've been really annoyed about this burn on my leg preventing me from doing this because I can I can see how the longest it is since I've last exercised the the least I'm starting to miss it I've been really missing my daily exercise because it's really helping me but I can see like the last few days I was like oh in a way I was glad not to have to do it and I don't want to get back there I want to get back to looking forward to it the way I was and all that so luckily the the burn is now like the skin is not coming off anymore when i turn the dressings and it's now actually not completely raw there's this, it's a very thin layer of skin but i have no more raw skin there's some some new skin over the top uh last night i ended up sleeping without a dressing which i was terrified about um but it's just because the the glue from the dressings is creating um i have a massive rash on my leg from the glue uh when i have to wear dressings a lot it happens and it's just the way it is but the skin is getting broken in some places so i wanted to give it a break and today i've just put a smaller dressing because i'm in the house most of the day um but I, I can see I can see how it's now properly healing i think we are past the risk the high risk of infection 
So I'm feeling so happy. So I'm hoping now I'm, I'm going to be reasonable with it. I'm only going to start again when I know um, I'm not going to get hurt with it. But I, if it continues to heal like this, I'm quite confident Monday, maybe worst case scenario, Tuesday, Wednesday, I'm like first, first half of next week, I'm confident if it continues to heal the way it is at the moment, I would be able to get back to it. And yeah, and I'm thinking Monday is the 1st of April, so it could work like this. So Monday is the 1st of April. I would kind of like it if it worked out that way. But at the same time, because I need to make sure this is fully healed by the time I go on my trip, um, I just don't want to risk it. But fingers crossed, it's looking promising. So I'm getting excited about that. Uh, and now, especially now that both boys go to school the full time, I can, I will have time to fit that in my routine in the morning when I'm in the house. And it just makes me feel happy to finally be able to set a routine for myself. So, <coughs> I'm going to stop the rumbling. Oh, quick note before I forget. The show last night went really good. Uh, Owen absolutely loved it. I was a bit disappointed by the um, the vocal performances of quite a few of the actors. I think it's because I've seen it many times before and I was I couldn't help but compare to other times. I didn't think it sounded as professional as the other ones. It wasn't bad. It was just wasn't to the standard I was expecting having seen the show by different productions previously. But Owen loved it and <coughs> there is one thing that makes me so happy to see is Owen's face in front of a musical. Because musicals make me feel a certain way, which I find really hard to describe. I, they just make me feel like warm inside and all that. Um, and Owen has that face. I don't think I've ever seen him with such a happy face, as happy as that, uh, the one he has when he's watching a musical. And I'm not the only one who's saying it. I know he's my child and I'm biased, but there was a lot of strangers around us who all said, there was a lady beside him that said, um, having you beside me is very distracting because your face is as fascinating as the show itself. <laughs> Which is not, this is exactly how I feel, but she was a stranger, so uh, he was so happy. Um, so yes, it was all worth it. Um, even if I was a little bit disappointed by the vocals, um, it's still we still had a very good time and Owen was so happy it, it was all worth it. So I'm gonna go, gonna end this vlog here. Probably won't vlog at the weekend, I just want to just have pure quality time, no cameras there. I want to put technology aside maybe and do more of a board games, like games, uh, maybe some gardening together and stuff like that. So yes, I'll see you later.